Jerry Moss's tennis career began amid the sun and surf of Miami Beach, where as a boy playing at Flamingo Park, he came under the wing of University of Miami tennis great Gardner Malloy. He grew up in the city parks, and that's a rough way to come. Most tennis players come out of uh, country clubs where they have coaches and they have backers and financial help and so forth so that they go around playing the circus. He didn't. He came up the hard way. We used to play in the public parks in the city of Miami, and, and I think I encouraged him to come to the university where he became an All-American, a great hurricane player. At the age of 15, Moss claimed the U.S. National Boys Singles Championship, then considered the premier national event in junior tennis. His doubles partner in those years, another future hurricane, Ed Rubinoff. Well, Jerry and I grew up in Miami Beach. We went to Miami Beach High, and as I became more competitive in the juniors, uh, Jerry and I seemed to play for about a year and a half and it seemed like every semi and every or every final in the junior tournaments around the state and he was tenacious. In 1958 Moss arrived at the University of Miami and in two years posted a phenomenal career record of 70 wins and just one loss. He helped usher in a golden era in UM tennis under coach Dale Lewis. In 58 and 59 we started the long streak Jerry was there. That streak went from 58 till April 27, 1964. University of Miami holds the longest winning streak in the history of intercollegiate tennis. 137 straight wins. Jerry was there when it started. After leaving Miami, Moss played on the tennis circuit. His wins included a victory over Australian great Rod Laver at the Masters Championships in St. Petersburg. After working as a teaching pro for 11 years, today Moss limits his tennis instruction to two very special students. The thing about Jerry is though, his genes have carried on. His daughter was an All-American past two years at the University of Georgia. And he has another daughter named Stacy who just received a full scholarship at the University of Florida. Tonight, entering the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame, Jerry Moss.